The Hero Indian Super League journey continues tonight in Bambalim Goa as a Dish FC take on two-time champions Chennai in at the GMC Stadium. English coach Stuart Baxter has seen a change in fortunes for his Odisha side, taking four points in their last two outings after just a solitary point had come for the Kalinga Warriors in their first eight fixtures. The Marina Merchants have not won at this ground in six attempts in season number seven. Jabalazlo's side is winless in four, but there has been three draws during this run. Well, it's the first time Jakob finds himself on the bench. Um, and for Isma, of course, he started the season fairly well, the first three games. And he's made some cameos off the bench the last two outings. Both coaches can't have complaints about recovery time because we were here in the very same position on Sunday. It's match 57, it's the GMC Stadium in Bambalin. Can Odisha continue their recent rise in form? The coach Stuart Baxter, such joy to secure their first three-pointer two games ago, right here on the 7th of January against the Blasters. They followed it up, of course, with a draw against their opponent here today. Marcelinho is desperate to show us what he is worth. He did make his debut in season number one. Three games he officiated there. This is actually his fourth season. Had a couple of breaks. And we look forward to see how he performs out of the middle. We've seen some wonderful performances by the men with the whistle. Quality work from Rahim Ali. The captain, Eli Sabia. The touch, is it too strong? But Tulu was the man, now Isma's on his way. Isma looks for goal! The goal was beckoning. And Isma should have probably just tucked this into the back of the net. has gone for power, tried to lift it over the goalkeeper. Clever decoy. Deliveries deep, Chanti. No one to play it back to, so he's got to go around them, which he is. Lifts it perfectly, and that is blocked. An amazing block to deny of all players, the centre-back Sipovic, a slip by Jerry. He regains his composure as Shubham Sarang is hot on his heels. Again, it's another warning across the bow of that defence, and now a mistake, allowing Isma through. Isma is a marauding forward. He won't miss the second attempt. Should have scored earlier, redeems himself. A slip at the back has proved fatal for Adisha FC. 1-0 to the two-time champions in between the two defenders and this time keeps his composure to just lift it over the goalkeeper but underneath the crossbar Isma gets his first start after a long time and justifies the inclusion making a 1-0 much to the delight of Chabal Aslo. but now they turn over again it's well read here amazing run from Anarutapa goes behind him from Isma down he goes penalty the mistake for the goal earlier Tapa continues his run it's a nightmare, isn't it? It's a nightmare for this man. Isma scored against Jamshid for in their first game, a 2-1 victory. He scores again from the spot. He has a double tonight. Elevated into the starting 11. It's a dream come true for the tall striker from Guinea. To a man with a lot of pressure on him now, as is McCalmley with a short run-up, just tucks that away. It's dangerous, it's curling in, it's not met cleanly. It's almost perfectly set for that cutback corner routine. Shubham off target. The right fullback overlaps, delicate turn by Cole Alexander, he's trying to lift it, Sipovic. Delicate work, it's a perfect ball, and Omu did not read the script. That was one of the best balls through. It would have been a classic assist from Jerry. He's probably been surprised that the ball's actually come out to him and come out in this manner. And I don't think he needs to hit this first time. I think he could have taken a touch, got himself set, taken it on his preferred right foot and just passes into the goal. He's snatched at it. And that's just a striker that's low on confidence. Marcelinho is out. As is Jerry. Odisha, a massive mountain to climb in this second half of match 57 from the Hero Indian Super League. Kate. That has bounced so well for Changte. His first touch wasn't the best, so now he's waiting for the support. Isma's touch is too heavy. No! 
Good call, Alexander. That was truly on its way. Vishal Kaith was scrambling to his right. Did it hit the body of Sipovic or Chunkta? I'm not sure in that middle. There's so many. The last corner, not a back call. Alexander this time having, having to contest for the ball. Drops perfectly to him. I think it was... Is it look, is that Regan who's got his head on? Most passes. Cole Alexander. Ahead of Taylor. Bora. And now Diego Mauricio! Time and time again, that is another golasso! And it's nothing, it's just a long free kick aimed towards Onwu. As the ball's dropped from Cole Alexander to Diego Maurizio, they're backed off, backed off, and he's used the defender as a shield to unsight the goalkeeper. And this is a clever, clever finish. He's not tried to hit it too hard. He's just picked his spot, used the defender as a screen, and curled it out of reach of Vishal Kate. Then it Ray gets the return pass. He slips though. Chanti, it's two on two. Tough as overlapping. Chanti still going himself. It opens it up. And Poi Singh could have killed the game off. Now that would have been the icing on the cake. It's everything we've asking about Chanti. Driver players, use your pace. And then that composure to just slip an inch perfect pass to Poi Singh. Cole Alexander to Henry Anthony. Great pass for Daniel! Top save. Vissel Kate hasn't been really called into action tonight. Possibly the best move in terms of build up so far from Adisha. I'd say that's an absolutely fantastic first touch from Daniel. That touch has set him up. He's been the one to be shuffled around. He's playing almost as the furthest man forward now, and that's a heroic performance from me. Jake from the, the young box. man. Patapa, oh. who dummies it for Jakob, who mistimes it. The handball by Poi Singh was just swing his leg as I'm announcing why he's the hero of the match and he would justify my decision. <laughs> it was a massive second half though. They they bounced back in the second half but they couldn't get that equaliser. Diego Maurizio came on in the second half, gave them the lifeline in the 64th minute. And Chen in are edging closer to the top four.